Explore Padlet. It'll give you the opportunity to create boards so students can share ideas and resources. You'll need to go to Padlet.com and you'll create an account and then you'll click on Build a Wall. When you're ready to post, just double click and you'll be able to type information into the box. Click off and it'll automatically post. You have the ability to move it around, to edit, or to delete the information. Click again and click on link and you're able to put in a URL. And if you click on the attachment, it will automatically take you to the website. Again, you have the ability to edit and delete as well. Double click again, click on the upload box, and you can double click to go to your files and choose to upload a file. And it will automatically be uploaded and you can type in the box. And now you have access to the document by clicking on it and you know what it is. Again, I have the ability to move, to delete, and to edit the box if I want something else. The final thing is you have a camera here. And if you click on this, you're able to take a photo from the webcam. You're also able to, you'll automatically be able to video record messages to someone on here so you could give directions to your students take a picture and write some directions so you have that ability to use the webcam to do that again I can delete or edit that if I so choose once I have my wall and everything's on there and ready to go I have the ability over here to share export so if I click on the box with the arrow. It automatically allows me either to embed this in my website, so if you wanted to embed the information for students to see, I can embed it. I can put it into um, a WordPress if you have a WordPress. If you take a picture, you can use the QR code within your classroom as well. I can put it out on LinkedIn or tweet it out. I have the ability to print the board to keep it or I can email it to someone. And if I click, I have the link that I can give to them. I also can share this link just with my students without emailing this. I can just highlight that link and give to my students and they'll be able to access my board at any time. Off to the side you have several a question mark to help if you have questions. It will go through here and allow you to look for different things. Resizing allows you to give options about sharing. Remember that all you're going to do is share out the URL at the top with your students and that way then they'll be able to access that or email or embed it within a document. I can always go back and make changes to it. If I click on the wheel, I have the ability to change the background, to add widgets to that, to take pictures. Here's where I make the title. And I can put a description. So that I will remember what this is like. I click on here for the layout. This is where I, I did a free form one. You can choose to stream and make a certain board for privacy. I can password protect this so you could tell students that they would need to type in the password in order to get it. I can mark it private and only you and the people that I add by email will have access. I can have a hidden link. The wall will have a public link, but the link will be hidden from Google and public areas. I can have it totally public for everyone to see. And again, if I make it up here and I password protect it, only the people, once I give them the link, it will ask for a password and they'll have to type in the password. That way you can keep your boards private and no one else can see them. And all I need to do is resubmit to make sure that those things take effect. 
notifications. It can send me an email once a day about any updates that are made to it. Here is the current address that you would give to somebody. You can also make up your own address, but remember sometimes you have to play around with that because the board name might already be taken. If you own your own domain, you can type the domain in here. And if you want to delete the wall, you can do so from here. Should give you the ability to get started. Again, if you click on the question mark, it should be able to help you at any time while you're making the boards. Good luck and have fun.